What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. As we await the arrival of the first Destiny 2 expansion called The Curse of Osiris, or I like to refer it as Taku, I figured I'd continue with my normal videos for you guys. However, if you guys would like an in-depth view of the first reveal that Bungie has done for The Curse of Osiris, then I'll put a link to that video in the description below, as well as an annotation at the end of this video. So, in today's video, we will be reviewing the Omlon Foundry Exotic Trace Rifle Cold Heart. Yes, there are many videos out there, and yes, I do not care. I'm doing this video for all of those awesome little kindergartians that are soon to be coming to Destiny 2. As of this video, this weapon is one of a kind. There are currently no other Trace Rifles in Destiny 2 until the Curse of Osiris is released on December 5th. The newer version is supposed to be a solar weapon, so I'd pretty much be disappointed if Bungie named it something dumb like Warm Heart. Anyway, back to the weapon that we have at hand. The Coheart fires 1000 rounds per minute, it has an impact of 6, a range and stability of 64, a reload speed of 37, and a handling of 42. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 16, an inventory size of 60, and like the Mita, the Cold Heart has an amazing aim assist of 100 with a recoil of 90. Personally, and I'd rather not take things personal, but personally, I don't see why this weapon is as good as it is when it was free. Yes, if you pre-ordered Destiny 2, this weapon was free, and no, I'm not complaining. Think about it. When was the last time you got something really good that was free? And I'm not talking about food or sex. However, those at the same time make any day good. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to the Cold Heart. As for his perks, we have for the intrinsic perk, Cold Fusion, which this weapon shoots a steady Cold Fusion powered laser. Then we have Extended Barrel, Enhanced Battery, Longest Winter, which reads, Cold Heart's laser does exponentially more damage the longer it remains on the target. And then last but not least, we have Hand Laid Stock. And mine actually has a weapon attack mod of 5. Now, even though you still have to fight the recoil of this weapon, it is manageable if you keep it stable on your target. In PvE, you see a few people running around with it here and there, but this is most likely the go-to energy weapon in the Leviathan Raid. Now, I'm not saying that other weapons aren't used because they are, but this thing shreds in the Raid. Well, mostly on Kallus. This isn't really a weapon I see myself taking into PvP, but in PvP, this is probably one of the more so fun weapons to use, but as of this video, due to the current meta, the Cold Heart gets outgunned by a lot of other weapons like the Last Hope, Uriel's Gift, and NEOD, just to name a few. At first, I was shocked and amazed on how well it does in the raid, but given its longest winter perk, which the Cold Heart does more damage the longer you are shooting at that target, I can see why. In the end, this thing is amazeballs. Yeah, I said it. Amaze balls. This weapon is definitely one of the best energy weapons for boss fights, whether it be in the raid or strike bosses, and most likely we will see this weapon far and beyond into Destiny 2's future. So, what do you guys think of the Cold Heart? Do you use it? Do you prefer to use another energy weapon instead? If so, what energy weapon do you use? Let me know in the comments below. And that, fellow guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.